Hello, it's Nick. Today I will show you how to design interactive pie chart in Figma. Here I have three colors that I will use for chart slices. Let's set ellipse. Set its dimensions to 400 by 400. Hover mouse over the selected ellipse and you should see the dot with the tooltip arc. Click on the dot and drag it to the center of ellipse. Move the mouse down a bit while dragging. Now you should see a few more controls, such as sweep and ratio. Click on the ratio and drag it to the left to create a ring chart. Now we have our first slice. Let's explore two controls that it offers. The first one is sweep. It controls the size of the slice. Another one is start. As you probably guessed, it controls the starting position. Let's set the starting position to minus 90 degrees, which is 12 o'clock. And I also want to rotate my slices clockwise, so I want to interchange the sweep and start controls. To do that, I will create a full circle. And now I can change the slice clockwise. You can see that the start control is at 12 o'clock, and sweep is at almost 3 pm. Let's create our first slice. It should be the largest slice on our chart. I will make it 55%. You can set precise value for sweep in the right side panel, in arc section. Change the slice color to blue, so it will be easier to manage it. Select the first slice and create its copy. The second slice should start where the first one ends. Let's change its color to purple. And the second slice should be smaller than the first slice, so I will make it 25%. Create another copy, and this will be our final, third slice. It will be smallest slice. It will start where the second ends and end at 12 o'clock. Fix any gaps between the slices before moving forward. And now we are ready for the next thing which is adding contextual hints for our slices. Let's type text 55% add it to auto layout and change its size to 24. Make the frame slightly wider. Change the fill color to white. Add a stroke and corner radius of 24 pixels. Change the frame name to 1. This will be an information hint that we will show when the user clicks on the first slice. Put the first frame at the right and create its copy. This will be a hint for the second slice. Change its text to 25% and create a copy of the hint. Place it at the top left side of the chart, next to the third slice. Select chart and hints and frame them. Give it a name, pi. Now select the hints one by one and in Appearance section click on Hide icon. We are ready to create a component set. Select the pie frame and create a component. Click Add Variant. We need to have four variants. Change the vertical spacing between the variants. Select second variant and first slice of the chart, object called ellipse 1. Press shift and right arrow key a few times to move the slice to the right and make the first hint visible. Navigate to the third variant, select the second slice, object called ellipse 2. Do the same operation, press shift and left arrow keys to move the slice to the left. Make the second hint visible. Lastly, navigate to the variant 4. Select the last slice, object called ellipse 3, press shift and left and top arrow keys to move the slice to the top left. Make the third hint visible. Now switch to the prototype mode. Click on a pie chart in the first variant and create a transition to the second variant. Transition will be triggered on click. It will be smart animate is out with the default duration. So when the user clicks on the pie chart, they will navigate to the second variant. 
Now select the second variant and create a transition to the third variant. All properties will be the same. Create a transition from third to fourth variant. Again, same properties. And create a transition from fourth to first variant. Same properties here. This transition will create a full loop. Time to test our design. Create test frame. Navigate to the Assets tab and drag and drop our component Pi to the test frame. Select test frame and click Preview. Looks good. Let me know what you think about this design in the comments. Thank you.